Maybe you've been waiting for this section on the latter rain. Well, here we are, Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1. Ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain, grass in the field for everyone. At the times of planting and harvest in the time of Israel and in that land compared to where I live today might have been quite different. The early or first rain was important to start the cycle of growth after planting. And then the latter rain was very important to bring, bring it to maturity so the fruit uh, could come. So the fruit could come, the harvest. Now in this passage here, we're told that you and I are to be very intentional about asking. We're to ask for the latter rain. But not only ask for it, uh, but we have to ask for it in the time of harvest. There really has to be the early growth, and then there has to be the maturing growth. You know, really, I, I know what you're thinking, because it's true for me too. We want to cut straight through the, the early rain, the preparation, all the hard work. We want to cut through there and go straight to that time where uh, we're ready to harvest. You know, you want to go straight to the ripe tomatoes, right? But it doesn't work that way. There's a lot of early work to do, and so we need to do it. And the fact is that when we do that, though, everything else is going to fall into place. If we ask, if we do those, those, the labor necessary to be ready to receive the early rain, receive the early rain, and then if we are ready for the latter rain, it's going to go boom, boom, boom. It's going to come right in its place. So there's no problems there. God is more than ready to deliver. He's, he's, he's waiting on us. We're not waiting on him. So we ask for it. We ask for it in the, in the right time. We, we have a growing Christian experience and God will give it to us. It's just, it's just going to seem effortless when we get to that spot. He's going to just give exactly what we need. Boom, boom, boom. We ask uh, he, in the right time. He gives. It's going to seem effortless to us. And there are, are beautiful days ahead, but right now we've got to keep on preparing. God will pour out all the rain we need, and it's going to be lush, luxuriant spiritual growth. I can't wait. This picture of the early and latter rain also comes up in James chapter 5 in the New Testament in connection with the second coming of Jesus. When we look out at the horizon of Bible prophecy, it, it definitely looks like we're living in that time, the time when we would expect the full outpouring of the latter rain. God is ready to pour out the latter rain for us, but our hearts are filled up with many of our empty treasures, just overflowing with nothingness, meaninglessness. And so God has something a lot better for us. Remember, humans are spiritual beings. He designed us to be spiritual beings. Now is the time when we're going to have the the best opportunity to see that and to live in that. And so we're living at an opportune time, although it's going to be a time of extreme intensity. We will need the latter rain. Well, it seems that a lot of people are like the guy in the book of Proverbs who, who buries his hand in the bowl. He already goes after the chips and he buries his hand in the bowl and he's just too, he's too lazy, he's too tired to even lift it back up to his mouth. We're just consuming right and left and yet our lives lack meaning. God has that meaning that we need. Now is the time to labor diligently and seek for the latter rain, to pray for it in the time of the latter rain, to, to take the steps that are needful, to be in the Bible, to be praying, to be sharing our faith with others. You know, we need to give in order to receive, and so a lot of times we're not really even giving. So may the Lord bless us and, and fill us and help us in these crazy times. This is the time for the latter rain. Mm -hmm.